overlook my hair. I have a hair appointment today, so there was no point in doing my hair. But I have some new products or new to me products, and that's what we're going to focus on. I will explain to you guys where I've been, what's going on, all of that good stuff. So I hope you're interested, and let's get to putting makeup on this face. All right, this was sent to me. This is called the Super Sponge. Looks like this, comes in this little container. It says that it is a silicone infused sponge, saves four times the makeup, limits germs, stays clean. It is vegan, all of that good stuff, cruelty free. So it feels different. This feels kind of like silicone. It is slick and then this down here feels like a traditional sponge. So what you're supposed to do is use this side and then if you want to smooth it out or get the excess, you're supposed to use the bottom. So we're gonna see how that works. I picked this up from Walmart. This is the Revlon Age Defying three times or three X, I don't know. But this was new at my Walmart anyway. I don't know if they reformulated this or just repackaged it. I don't know, but it was new. So we're gonna try it and I don't recall ever trying this one. It's age defying, it's supposed to lift. This is in 65 and it has SPF 20. So let's go ahead, we'll put some of this. It's pretty runny. We'll just do one pump. I know at my Walmart they had a really big display for this. So let's hope it's good. It's supposed to be medium to full coverage. It doesn't really seem like that just by, you know, putting it on, but we'll see, we'll see. All right, let's get this sponge in action. Okay, definitely pushes it in nicely, moves it around. It feels completely different than a traditional sponge just because this is so different. It's pretty unique, I'll give it that. I mean, it's still picking up product, but maybe it's not as much where it's not gonna soak in. Realistically, I care about how it sits on the skin, how it pushes it into the skin. So I think I would like this side better. The side that actually feels like a sponge, but we'll see. This foundation is light coverage. Definitely light coverage. We will try to build it up. I'm gonna switch it and use this side for my nose. Yeah, blends it in really nicely. But I'm curious, I'd like to use this on a foundation that I typically wear, so that way I can see how it really does, if it does save on the product. All right, I'm going to build this up because I want some more coverage. But you guys, so my eye, my right eye ended up getting super red, super swollen. It was awful. And I went to the doctor, they said that it looked like pink eye. So <laughs> I kind of did that for a minute. Hold on, let me grab a brush. So I kind of assumed, you know, with the doctor telling me to, I had pink eye and so it went away after a couple of days, few days, and then it came back. But this time, like before, it was my whole upper eye. It was red as crap. Well, the second go around, it was my whole under eye. And you guys, it hurt so bad. And long story short, I've pretty well not had makeup on my face one time in a month. So I had to sit down here, let you guys know what was going on. I didn't want to make a video and not be able to do any makeup or have any makeup on. So that is the reason I literally could not have any makeup on. They didn't even want me using skincare. And I love my skincare, you guys, truly. So it's been tough. I didn't use skincare for about a week near my under eyes and like I said, I haven't had makeup on for a month, one time, but I 
think it's bitter now. I actually don't think it was pink eye at all. I think it's my allergies, which I know is odd, but I do. I think it's my allergies and hopefully it's better now. We'll see after I put this makeup on, we will see. Let's hope it doesn't do that again because you guys, it was miserable. So, so painful. And then after that, I ended up getting sick overall. Um, I had a severe sinus infection. I had double ear infection. So it's been tough this past month, but I didn't go MIA for no reason. Um, yeah, I just had a lot going on, a lot. So with the brush, this foundation is much better. It built up pretty nicely. I like it better with a brush. And it's sitting pretty nicely on the skin. It's it's pretty good. I don't, I don't think it's the best foundation I've ever put on, but I do like it. I think it's a nice medium coverage. For concealer, we're going to use the Wet n Wild Mega Last. You guys know I have loved this one. I just got a deeper shade. Let's see, this might be too deep. This is in Medium Honey. Ugh. Not liking the undertone of this one, but we'll try to make it work. Oh, I haven't used this in a while. I forgot it is heavily fragranced, which I don't love. All right, I'm gonna grab the sponge back out and just see how it does with concealer. Pretty decent with concealer. I know I've got polka dot pores here. Like I said, with this sponge, I definitely want to use it with a product that I know because I don't want to fully judge it when it could just be the products I'm using today. And then for my nose, I need some full coverage. So I'm grabbing the e.l.f. camo concealer. e.l.f. camo concealer for the win, you guys. Totally covered. Oh, you cannot go wrong. You can't, can't go wrong with e.l.f. camo. Okay, so here's the skin. It's not the best. The concealer, I don't know if it's with this foundation or what, but the concealer did not work like I wanted it to. I picked this up. This is not super new. I know I've seen these on Ulta for quite some time, but this is the Burt's Bees All Aglow Lip and Cheek Stick. So let's see what we've got here. This is in the shade Peony Pool. It has a bit of a smell too. And then I'm gonna pick it up with the brush. I think that's just gonna be too hydrating, too moist. I know a lot of people hate that word, but I think it's just gonna be a little too wet to put directly on the skin. I don't know, it looks pretty on the cheeks though. I will give it that one. This I might actually really, really like because it leaves a beautiful natural glow with a wee bit of color. We'll set this down to where it's not so ugh, glowy. And on the lips, yeah, that's what I was trying to think of. It feels like lip balm. It does, it feels nice. Okay, let me set the under eyes and I don't have a new or new to me bronzer, so I'll go ahead and throw that on and then we're gonna come back for eyes. Okay, for the eyes, we are going to use, if I can get it open, the Hard Candy Marilyn Monroe Collection. This is called Silver Screen 2066 Eyeshadow Palette. Looks like so, um, I don't know you guys. I don't know, we'll see how it goes. It can go either way. So I'm keeping my, my mind open. Let's do a couple swatches. Okay, that's underwhelming, kind of like I thought it would be. Yeah, Hard Candy's eyeshadows just don't really do it for me. They're underwhelming, like I said, and they're kind of powdery. So take that into consideration, you know. All right, I'm gonna take this shade right here and I'm gonna try to do my absolute best. Yeah, they're, they're not powdery at all. They're in there really packed tight, packed down, and okay, there. I think I might have some on my brush, but they're, they're chalky. It's quite odd. And this is a natural hair brush. Normally it puts it down even more opaque. Wow. And 
and there's just nothing. We've got this mat, this mat, and a black. These two are both dark. You figured this one you'd use for liner. This one you'd use as transition. This one as your darker outer corner, but that's not gonna work. So I'm dipping into this purple and I'm getting quite a bit. And let's see if we can get any, anything, anything. Okay, this has a little bit of pigment. I wouldn't say much at all. I mean, it's far lighter than that. I mean, wow. Man, I love this. I used this the other day for the first time. The Hard Candy Glamouflage uh, Foundation. It is so nice. But there's not much else from Hard Candy that I'm a fan of. I'm just gonna be honest. It's just not there for me. So school started back today here. Whew. That's tough. My youngin is in eighth grade. Eighth grade, you guys. But yeah, it is tough. He did not go at all last year. So I'm hoping things are going good for him today. Ah, it's pretty nerve wracking to say the least. So I'm just going to keep kind of building up here. We don't really have a lot to work with. So I'm just going to build and blend. Yeah, I can go ahead and tell you guys this palette sucks. I'm going to take this shade because why not? But yeah, this palette is awful. There's nothing good about this palette, you guys. Look, look at, look at that. It's all patchy and mm, mm, mm. I would feel bad that Marilyn Monroe's name is even on this because it is shitty. Like the drugstore has stepped up their game so much. Like hard candy's going to have to do that because this is not acceptable. It's not acceptable, you guys. I'm going to grab a flat brush, take that purple shade. I'm going to try to put it on the outer corner and just try to get a little bit more because this is so disappointing. And I'm sure I've cut out a ton, but I really built this up, really built it up. And it's just not doing much for me, you guys. Had a good bit of fallout with the silver shade we were trying to put on the lid. Yeah, okay, well that's terrible. That's just terrible. This palette was sitting here, so I'm just gonna use it. I'm gonna grab Zero Chill right here. This is the Violet Voss Cool Vibes palette. This is a good palette, really good palette. So Zero Chill. I'm going to run that on the lower lash. And then I'm going to take that same shade. And I'm going to try putting it on the outer corners. I honestly just hate the way this looks, you guys. Look, it's truly bad. Ugh. Yeah, that that's tough. That was not good. I picked this up. This is the Physician's Formula Eye Booster Waterproof Ultra Fine Liquid Eyeliner. So I used to love these, but this one's in waterproof. So I'm gonna see if it's any better. Oh, so smooth. Glides on so easily. Look, if you are just starting out with liner or you haven't found the right one or you haven't found the right one to get an ultra thin line, this is it. I truly forgot what a thin line you could get with this one, you guys. It's crazy. Mmm, I like this. Yes. All right, I'm going to hop off of here and go throw some lashes on. Whoops. Go throw some lashes on and some brows, and we'll be right back. You guys, I literally forgot to put on bronzer and highlight. 
So I threw just the smallest bit of bronzer on. All right, let's talk. I absolutely 100%, 100% hate, that's a strong word, this palette. Um, I feel bad for Hard Candy. I really feel bad for Marilyn Monroe's company, whoever still leases her name out or whoever that works, I don't know. But whoever own, owns rights to her name, this is so not good. This is terrible. I mean, it's not even okay. It's terrible. This is awful. I really did like this. I will definitely keep using it. Feels really nice on the lips. I like the natural, glowy, really pretty look that it gives on the cheeks. And then I'm gonna keep using this, um, the foundation. I like the way it looks, but I wanna try it with some other concealers, with some other brushes, see if I can really get it to where I love it. But yeah, that is it, you guys. But I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope my eye does not swell after this, <laughs> for sure. And then school, I hope everyone with children, um, they started the COVID restrictions back here literally just now. So they have to have masks on all day. That's really, I don't know, it worries me. My son has asthma. Having a mask on for seven hours is gonna be tough. So anyone who has children who go to school, I feel for you, the worry, the anxiety. I get that. I totally get it. But yeah, I hope to see you guys in my next one. If you haven't subscribed, I hope you do that now. And the next video should be a really good one. It should be the next one, but I will have a giveaway for you guys. I know I've been gone for a bit, so we're coming back in with a bang. But yeah, I hope to see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.